What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today, we're going to take a look at Power Pages, and we're going to take a look at how to customize the theme and the look and feel of a Power Pages site. So let's get straight into it. So you see on my screen here, I have a Power Page. I'm in uh, the make.powerpages.microsoft.com portal, and uh, we have this one Power Page that I had set up previously uh, called Carl Test. And what we'll do is let's go ahead and edit this page and we'll see how we can change the look and feel. So we're now in the Power Pages Designer and uh, the template that I use for this is the, uh, the basic out of the box default template. And if we go over to styling here, we can see the different themes that we can apply to this Power Page. So the default theme here is uh, orange and with the orange selected, we can see here that we get this particular color palette and we can go and change uh, various different aspects about this theme. So we can see that there's uh, these specific colors that are part of this color palette. And it's useful to have the color palette here because then you can apply these colors very easily. So if you think of a painter with their color palette and they have their particular colors that they use often uh, for a particular painting, then that's what this is here. So it's just easy to have these ready and accessible so you can apply them to different aspects of the site. Um, then we have the background here and then basically we scroll down. Uh, we have this section here for the fonts and uh, this is the various different titles and headings and subheadings that we have access to. And it's really easy to change these. So for example, uh, if you're using title, you can click on this here and then it gives you the font here and the weight and the size, and this is the color here, right? So if we wanted to make a really easy, quick change, we could change this from Arial to, let's say, to Huma. And uh, what's happening here is you can see the, the uh, title has been reflected with the change here, okay? So let's go ahead and make this one, instead of regular, we'll make a bold and we'll watch the company name change here and we see that it's changed over here. And then, you know, you can control the size as well, right? If you wanted to make it a bigger size, we could uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go make it 42, and so that's a little bit bigger, right? Um, and then, of course, the color here, so it's defaulted, here's our palette, right? Uh, we could change it here to, say, this nice blue color here if we wanted, and then we could see how that looks, and you can see that it's kind of blending in with the blue that's already there. So maybe we want to make it this orange color, and that will be consistent with the color palettes on our site. So really easy to change these fonts here. Um, you know, any one of these you can just go into and change. So that's really, really nice. And you can see here the site navigation. Uh, so you have access to this here. You also have the on hover style. So if you want to change that from an underline to plain text, you can go ahead and do that. So let's scroll down here. And then this is a nice one here they have added also. It's uh, buttons and links. And you can see here that this is the primary button. And basically here is uh, add a call to action here. And then if I, so that's one of these primary buttons. And if I click on this, we can see the different styles that are available here. So it's we can change this from filled to outline. So let's try that. So we can see here that it's changed that over here. Uh, with these particular colors, that really doesn't make sense. So if we wanted to flip these around, for example, if we made this a white color and then we made this a darker color, then we can see that the button's basically been inverted like that, right? We still get the access to these fonts. We can uh, still get the access to the weights and still get access to the size. So we can change those things there. Uh, links is another common one here. We can, we can play around with how the links look on the site. And then we also have these sections with margins and spacing down here. So if we click on this down here, we can change the uh, column margin top and bottom and then the column padding, right? So this all goes into the theme of the site and you know, if we wanted to apply this, what we can do, we can click on save changes up here. And then once that's saved, we can basically go over here and take a look at what it looks like. So let's go ahead and sync this here. So it's gonna sync it with the main site. And then what we'll do is we'll take a look at what it looks like. So um, now that that's done, I can go here and I can click preview. And then I'm gonna select here, preview uh, this site on the desktop. We have the option of course, to scan our mobile device uh, and and basically look at it on our, our cell phones. Uh, but basically, yeah, this is the, the desktop view and we can see here that the, the, the two changes that I made have come through here. So very easy to see these changes and um, 
uh, you know, very easy to make the changes. So if we go head back over to PowerPages uh, Designer over here, basically these are the other themes that come, uh, these other styles that come uh, with the uh, out of the box. So basically if you clicked on one of these other ones, you can, it will automatically apply the theme. So if I click on this here, click on the turquoise theme, we can see that we're now getting the full turquoise theme applied here, right? Um, let's take a look at some other ones. We have bright blue here, we have teal, um, we have moss, and then if, if we scroll down, we have some more obvious themes like this dark blue one, which is making everything a lot darker here, and then this dark yellow one here, right? So those are the out of the box ones. And if we scroll up here, um, we can go back to this one. We can see that it's modified, right? So we know that it's modified. There's our modified uh, style. And then we can basically come in here. And if we wanted to just uh, get rid of what we've done, we can just reset it to the default here very easily. And that's gonna set that theme back to its original theme, okay? So uh, very easy to kind of make your changes and then just come back and revert them if you want to. So if we head back over to the site, um, I wanna show you guys the, the page source here. And let's take a look at this. And we can see here that there's, these sites are basically built on Bootstrap. And if we look at Bootstrap here, uh, we can see it here, it says Bootstrap version 3.3.6, right? So, so that's what it's built on. And the Power Pages documentation talks about using uh, the Bootstrap, Bootstrap, this particular version of Bootstrap to uh, as the, the version for your pages, okay? So what we can do is we can actually extend this even further to use our own uh, uh, custom themes. And so, so this is, uh, this is how, this is basically what we would base this off, okay? Now I'm gonna jump back here over to source and we can see down here as well, this one here is kind of interesting. There's a couple of interesting one, ones here. If I click on theme.css, uh, we, we have a, a basic theme here. So, so that's kind of useful. But this one here, portal basic theme.css, you can see here that, um, if we just read this here, right, it says that the code's generated by Microsoft and changes to this file are not supported. We recommend that you don't modify this file and any changes will be overwritten with a theme applied using the uh, site styling panel. They don't want you to modify this file, this particular CSS file, but what's useful is that you, you can actually take a lot of these elements from here and uh, basically use this uh, if you wanted to uh, in order to to uh, build your own custom theme, okay? So we can see here, you know, the, the, there's basic stuff. You've got the footer, the legend, um, the uh, the body, and then breadcrumbs, and all different kinds of uh, elements here that are being used in order to uh, theme these sites. And so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically use this as a, as a little template, and we'll see what happens when we apply our own custom theme. But as I mentioned as well, you know, um, you don't have to do it this way. Bootstrap is a, a framework that provides many tools and you can build your Bootstrap uh, customizations uh, in, in other ways in order to do this. But this is just an easy way to uh, make these uh, little customizations. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna download this uh, file here and then let's just save this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save this and then we'll just open this up in Visual Studio Code. So uh, here's the file, this all looks good. And what I wanna do is let's make some, some changes here. So I'm gonna flip back over to the, uh, to the site and let's just go back over here and let's just take a look at the, uh, the source here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this here and we can see that there's various different elements here on the, on the page. And for example, if I just grab this one, we have the, uh, the nav bar and, and basically we can see here, like if I change this color over here to something like aqua, for example, we get this change here, right? So we can see um, that this is the, uh, the, C the part of the CSS that we need to change if we wanna change the color here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this and let's go back over to our VS Code. And if I just go and paste this in here, we can see that this is the background color that's the, the current one, right? So if I wanna make this change, and VS Code does this so nicely where it just pops this uh, little color uh, control up, <clears throat> but I can, con I can change this color here. So let's say I wanna make it, uh, let's try something that, that kind of stands out a little bit like this, this green color, okay? So we're gonna change the top, uh, the top nav bar to use this green color. So that's, that's one change we'll make. 
and then uh, let's do something here. So the background color of the site. So currently we have white. I'm going to make this a, uh, a red color and then the color, the background color itself here. I'm going to change this over to a, let's say, a, a, uh, this kind of a lime color. And let's do the footer as well. So the background color of the footer, I'm going to change that to, uh, let's say, this reddish color over here. Okay, so I've made these three changes and I'm going to uh, save this and I'm just going to call it Carl's theme, click save there. And so there's my new my new file. Okay, so now in order to uh, show these changes in the power page, I'm going to go back over to my portal management app here. And this time I'm going to head over to web files. And this is where uh, the web files are stored. So these are files that are used by the site. Okay, so you have uh, images, you have CSS files here and other types of files. I'm gonna create a new one. Okay, so this is where we create the new web file and I'm gonna call this uh, carl.css, carl.css, let's do that, all right? So the website here, we're gonna select this one, parent page, we're gonna make home here, partial URL, uh, I'm going to go with this, okay, and then the uh, publishing state is going to be published. So you select that there, and then what we need to do is the display order. I'm going to make this 100, okay. So that's all we need there. I'm just going to click save. Uh, that's created this record here, okay. So that all looks good. So now I'm going to go to notes, and this is where we do the attachment of our CSS. So I'm going to click on this little paperclip icon and now I get to select here the uh, my theme that I created. So that's that one, I'm gonna click open, and then I'm gonna click uh, add note here, okay? So that's going and uploading this um, CSS file, and now this is all ready, right? So I can just uh, basically go back over to the page here, and if I refresh this page, let's take a look and see what happens here. So it's reloading the designer, and we can see here that this is the custom CSS that's come through, right? So uh, what's kind of funny is like, you know, you still have the original theme down here that's that's loaded, the one that we've modified. So it's kind of this theme, and then it's also this on top of it, right? So um, so these are the changes that we've made here. So it's, it is applying the custom theme. Uh, so if we basically look down here, you can see here, like this is the red background from the custom theme that's appearing now, right? And uh, this is the, the the background on the on the uh, the header. And then if we scroll down, we got the, the footer background down here, right? So we made those changes and they're actually coming through in this custom theme. Um, so, you know, if we if we go over to our site over here and then let's just close this. And if we refresh this here, let's take a look and see if these these changes come through and they have come through, right? So that's great. So we have we have everything that's changed here now and we have our new custom theme. Um, let's go back over here and what we can do also, we can change the logo here. Um, you know, this is, this is something that's obviously very common. So in order to change the logo, what you'll do is you'll go over to pages here. So it's actually not part of the styling, it's actually part of the pages. And then you can come over here and you can just add, a, add an image here. So if I uh, click on this, and then click on the word image here. This gives me the ability to um, to select an image and, and upload one, right? So um, it's really very easy. And I'm just gonna, if I select upload, it's very easy, but I'm just gonna click, for example, just make this a graph, this graph one instead of this circle, right? And then if I click okay here, there's there's the, the latest image. And, you know, I can go and sync this and let's just take a look at the site and 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 we'll see that reflection come through here. So if I click on here and then I just uh, refresh this here, we'll see that that graphic has changed, right? And then back in the designer, you know, there's the the uh, the other obvious uh, aspects of this where, you know, you can select these various different sections and then you can change uh, the content here, for example. Uh, we can do this. We can uh, basically add buttons where we want. We can change and add images. We can, you know, we can delete this whole thing if we want, right? We could start from... Uh, start from this template, but then basically take out what we don't need and then, uh, you know, design it so that it's applicable to our own website.
So that's basically it, custom themes and styling with Power Pages. Hope you guys enjoyed. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.